back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Courtney. Please hit that subscribe button down below to be notified when I post a new video. I am taking the Pottermore quiz to see which house I am in. I'm hoping that I'm in Gryffindor, but I'm pretty sure I won't be in it because I'm not that brave. But anyways, we're going to take the test and see which house I am in. And I am taking this with a grain of salt because even if I don't get into Gryffindor, I will probably still buy everything Gryffindor. That's just me. First, I just wanted to show you guys what I am doing this summer. I am rereading the Harry Potter series because I did not finish it a couple years ago. And they had the new illustrations for them. So I decided to pick up the first book and the second book and just look at the new covers. They are so beautiful. So, yeah, I just bought one and two to start with because I just did not want to buy the whole collection first. Um, I just thought it was too much of a tease, so I'm just buying the first two right now. But anyways, without any further ado, let's get on to the video. What do you want to be remembered as? Great, wise, good, or bold? I think I want to be re remembered as good. What would you not want to be remembered as? It's either ignorant or selfish. Maybe ignorant. If you were to choose a potion, which would you choose? A love potion, a power potion, a wisdom, or glory? I'm going to choose a love potion, for sure. How would you want people to remember you? Miss you and smile. Ask for more stories of your, your adventures. Opinion only matters when I'm alive. Think of your achievements. I'm going to say... Hmm, what would a Gryffindor thing say? Um, miss you and smile. What scent brings you comfort? Crackling log fire, parchment, sea, or home? Ooh, that's hard. Either fire or home. Ooh, what should I do? What should I choose? Mm, I'm gonna say crackling fire. You're given four boxes, but only allowed to open one. The first is an ornate, ornate golden box which says, Unbearable temptations lies within. The second box with a rune you know to be Mark of Merlin. The third is a tortoise shell box in which a small animal seems to be squeaking inside. The fourth is a pewter box that reads, I only open for the worthy. Which one do you select? What the heck? My mouse is having a mouth malfunction right now. I'm locking that. Okay. What the? What can do the mark of Merlin? Which instrument do you find most pleasant? Um, a violin for sure. I think it's so beautiful. You find yourself in a room with four goblets before you, each containing different potion. Which would you drink? The golden potion, which reflects sunspots across the room. Silver glittery potion that appears to be appears to consist of crushed diamonds, the purple one that smells of plums and chocolates, or the inky black one that makes odd visions swim before you. I will probably do the golden potion. You are in a whimsical garden. Which object attracts your attention? Red toadstools that are talking to each other, silver trees with golden apples. The wizard statue with a strange twinkling eye or a luminous pool that seems to have something lurking in the depths. They all seem to attract my attention. I'm going to say red toadstools. Hogwarts is burning down there are three important things you must save, but are in different locations. There are student records, a dragon pox cure, and a, the book of Merlin. Baby tech! In which order do you save the items? I'm going to say book, records, and then the cure. No, I'm going to do book, cure, records. <laughs> Which would you most want to be? Trusted, liked, praised, feared, imitated, or envied? Um, trusted. What do you find hard to cope with? It's either ignored or loneliness. Which are you most 
looking forward to at Hogwarts. I'm looking, learning, literally look, learning every little area of magic. Which power do you wish you had? Change the past, change appearance, invisibility, talk to animals, read mind, or um, super strength. I would say... Because I've been watching this, um, The Magician show on Netflix, and this one guy, I forgot his name, but he can read minds, and it has been really, like, stressing him out and, like, really hard for him to cope with. I don't know if I would do read minds. So it would either be talk to animals or invisibility. I'm going to do invisibility. Which animals are you most eager to learn about? Trolls, ghosts, vampires, mer people, goblins, werewolves, or centaurs? Tardy! I'm going, I'm really most interested in learning about mer people. Sound interesting? You notice that one of your classmates has a cheat sheet and is using it during test. Out of the test, Professor Flitwick confronts you and asks if your friend cheated. How do you respond? Confront. I'm going to confront my classmate and ask them to tell Filt Flitwick. If they don't, you will. You made a four-way fork in the road. Which path do you choose? The cobbled agent path, buildings, a lantern lit alley, the twisted woodsy path, or the woods... Wide, sunny, grassy path. I'm going to say a wide, sunny, grassy path. Because I don't like anything other than being in the light. A muggle confronts you and says that they know you are a wizard. You respond by telling them you are worried about their mental health. You are walking through the forbidden forest at night. When you hear a twig snap, what do you do? Draw a wand and stand your ground. You must cross a bridge, but there is ferocious, ferocious troll blocking the way. He won't go down without a fight. You falling, because I've had a lot of dreams where I... Moon or stars? I'm going to say moon. I'm going to say dawn or dusk. Dawn. Right or left. I'm right-handed. I'm going to go right. Head or tails. Heads, obviously. So, are you ready? I got Hufflepuff. Congratulations, you have been sorted into the house of Hufflepuff. You are very dedicated to things you truly care about. You are fair, kind, and tolerant. You may ha you have many friends and are well liked. My house colors are black and yellow. My house goes as fat frayer. My head, head house head is Professor Spout Sprout, and the house founder is Helga Hufflepuff, and my animal is a badger. My cat's crying, so I need to hold him. Um, my comments room is located in Hufflepuff basement. Have a magical year at Hogwarts. So there you have it guys. I am a Hufflepuff. Um, when I visit Wizarding World of Harry Potter next May, I'm definitely going to get a Hufflepuff crew neck or um, scarf. But I am still a Gryffindor at heart. So yeah, that is... <laughs> That is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit that like that like button and subscribe down below for more Harry Potter videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.